we have this kind of legendary dessert that we're going to try out right now. Yeah. Are we? What's happening? Are we posing? Is this? These are video cameras. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, it is all about cheap eats. Last time in Saigon, we took you on a tour of the best 10 street foods you could get for under $1. Now, just over 1,000 miles north, we've arrived in Vietnam's capital, Hanoi. And you won't believe how far your money can mm. go here. I love that texture. I can eat like a thousand of these. From the most unique breakfast you'll find. When I look like I'm in pain, that means it's really good. To Vietnam's tiniest street food stall. It is all just this right here. I even stumbled upon Hanoi's hangover cure. This place is basically like the Vietnamese waffle house. So count your pennies and hit the streets. Today we're ordering up Hanoi's street food dollar menu. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Today we are in Hanoi's old quarter, scouring the street, going through the alleyway to find the best but most affordable food we can. We've got a lot of varieties of food on the street for under a dollar, maybe even under two dollars would be okay too, because that's what we're doing today. Well, good morning. It's breakfast time. Today we are starting out with a legendary Hanoian street snack. This is called Bun Au. Bun is the vermicelli noodle. Au means snail. First she takes the vermicelli noodle, blanches it for a little bit, tosses it in the bowl. A load of scallions, some herbs coming in with the seasonings. We've got some MSG, salt, and then a load of big snails and small snails. The broth has a combination of pork stock, some snail stock. Is that even a real thing? And tomatoes, all of that inside one bowl. And, and it's done, there we go. I've got a chair as my table, and then somehow an even smaller chair as my chair. We have all of our beautiful ingredients, our bun al daido. And if you need even more seasonings, it's right behind me. And so, ah, uh, what do we got here? Looks like some chili oil. Ooh, get it a little bit spicy. Here we have a fermented rice vinegar. It smells like booze a little bit, so that's perfect for the morning. They've drilled a little hole on top. It's kind of like a pepper shaker. Drip it in a little bit. Done, give it a nice little mix. I'm gonna get one of these big snails on here, wrap it in some noodles. Let's go for it. Mmm. Mm. When I look like I'm in pain, that means it's really good. The snails, you can imagine, are super crunchy. The broth itself is so savory, a bit of tomato flavor. The noodles, very soft, soaking up that hot broth. I love it. It's really, it's what I love about Hanoi. Everything's just right here on the sidewalk, and they've been doing this for 20 years. I don't know how this works exactly, but at some point 20 years ago, someone's like, I'm gonna sell snail noodles here, and no one stopped them, and they're still here. God bless them. We have come to our second location today, Ban Mi 25, trademarked. That name is not for you to use. It's only for this place right here. Ban Mi kind of means bread or sandwich in Vietnamese. It's one of the most ubiquitous street treats that you'll find in this country, almost anywhere. And each region does it a little bit differently. I was suggested to order the barbecued pork with or without pate, also known as Ban Mi Pate Sa Siu. The pate is made from a liver of an animal and it is cooked, made into a pate. Today's banh mi starts with a smearing of pate, then a bunch of cha su and some pepper, pepper, pepper. Toast it for two minutes, then dump on a thick stewed pork sauce. Last, slide in some coriander and pickled carrot, close it, wrap it, eat it. We are just gonna undress this banh mi like, take apart this wrapper, revealing, oh, all this goodness. It's very heavy. The mouth of the banh mi. Let's try it out. Mmm, oh, that is delicious. What I'm really impressed with is kind of the flaky crackeriness of this bread. It's crispy, it's a really a perfect texture. Of course, plenty of fresh coriander. The rest is just meaty goodness. It's quite rich. Mmm, my sandwich is leaking all over the sidewalk. I gotta cap that off, there we go. It's like the new generation of banh mi. Young people enjoying together, trying some of the new twists on some classics and then just some full blown new banh mi styles that I've never even seen before. So definitely worth paying a visit. I've come to this alleyway, this beautiful shaded alleyway here, where they're serving bun dao. That is bun, like kind of a bun cake. And then here, this is dao. 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 
Nomroy. Beautiful array of tofu just frying up. So how this works, they have a bunch of stuff that you can dip into mum tom, which is a fermented shrimp paste. It's kind of purple in color. You'll see soon. What we're gonna have to go with the sauce is fried tofu, rice vermicelli cakes, young rice and minced pork cake. Oh, and then this is what we're gonna order in just a moment. Hi. Okay, I need to figure out how to order that. I'm pretty sure I just ordered up some freshly sliced and fried cubes of tofu and fried young rice pork cake. This is paired with hot oil dumped directly onto our pungent fermented shrimp paste. So we have our whole mum dao mum tom spread here. Gonna add some kumquat to that, mix it up. That's exactly what we're looking for. It's a bit kind of fizzed up now. Chili, chili, more chili. And then a little sugar, just give it a little tap. Just tap it in. All right, that was too much. So here we have fried tofu. You start off with just a bit like a kiss of sauce and you throw it back. Woo! Oh, little bit of planch. That way. Oh, the first bite, I swear to God. It is like your first shot of tequila for the night. It's terrible in that moment, and you're like, why am I doing this to my body? But then as you go on throughout the night, you're like, I love tequila. This is the baby rice and minced pork cake. Awesome chewy texture on this. I'm gonna give it a little dip. Mm. Cleanse the palate, a little bit of herb. It's kind of like a little high. You bring yourself up and then you cool it down. If you're insane, you could have cucumber. This is one of those dishes a lot of foreigners can't handle. The intensity of the shrimp is just too much for them. But to me, it's awesome, it's addictive. It's a very intimidating food. So we have this kind of legendary dessert that we're gonna try out right now. This thing is just full of green jellies that are pandan flavored. And I know what you're thinking. What is pandan flavored? Uh, pandan is a leaf, it tastes like that leaf. It starts with the yogurt, put in the pandan jellies, some pineapple, watermelon, mango, some jackfruit here, cheese jelly, a red one and a green one, boba. We're putting on some, whoa, condensed milk, some coconut milk on top of that. Finally, it's gonna put a bit of chipped ice on there. Okay, yeah, come on, yeah. Are we, what's happening? Are we posing? Is this, these are video cameras. What a magical treat. Here we have these heart-shaped cheese-filled jellies. I'm gonna try just that alone. And I love it. I knew it. Kind of fruity, yummy jelly texture. Sweet cream cheese inside, maybe? I don't know, it's so good. I'm gonna try to mix all this together. It's the local way of doing it. It's called the right way. There we go. We got jackfruit, watermelon, some yogurt. Mmm, good. That's just fruit though, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is kind of what this place is known for right here. These pandan flavored jellies made with real pandan leaf. Let's just take all those down right now. Mmm. Fresh and refreshing. That was my favorite part by far. We're putting balls in our mouth all day. On to the next location. Right now, we've come to what is probably the smallest street food stall in Hanoi. It is all just this right here. One lady, one fryer, some shelves of ingredients. The menu is all laid out and then the phone number too, you know what I'm saying? They have these three different types of cakes. Right here up top, these are shrimp cakes. You have to eat the whole like shell, the outer part of the shrimp as well as the inside, but maybe with it fried, it'll all be crunchy together. Here we have hakao. These little dumplings are filled with minced pork. And then on the bottom, they have what they call a pillow cake. It is filled with minced pork, woodier mushroom, and we're gonna find out what else. Here we have a little bit of everything. It's like a little Vietnamese empanada or samosa. We've got our kind of nook mum mixture here. There's papaya inside. They've also put in some water and vinegar. We're gonna start with the shrimpy. Let's try it out. That's pretty good. This has been so intensely fried that the actual shell of the shrimp has become crunchy in itself. The vinegar and papaya just kind of lightens it up a bit. Normal people would throw in some uh, herbs too. And then here we have a pillow cake. So soft and fluffy, you could almost put your head on it at night. A little bit of fish sauciness in there. Let's try it out. Mmm, what's going on in here? It's one of my favorite things so far. Super crispy, diverse textures within. It's not just the woodier mushroom and the pork. There's also some Chinese sausage, glass noodles, some carrot, and some cassava root. It's really, it's a lot going on. Our fun food journey continues here right now in this alley. There's somebody up here. 
Hello? Guys, that's the kitchen, and then right here, the downstairs kitchen. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. These street food stalls in Hanoi, they know how to make really good use of space here. They just have this really thin little area where they prepare all the food, and then super organized along the alleyway here, they've got a bunch of stools set up, using stools as tables, as chairs, waiters, waitresses going around, taking your order, asking what you want, and bringing the food to you. She has some freshly grilled nem nung here. She brings it to the next city. What is she doing with it? I feel real good and I wish I would. Right now we're headed up to the kitchen. I'm telling you, this is the most compact restaurant I've ever seen. Whoa, this place is wild. This insanely hot embers, hot coals here. If you were drunk or have bad balance, you will get injured here. They have fans here that are kind of exposed. Once this meat is finished, they're gonna put it in a bucket that goes back down to the people there. I'm on a move, I'm going up. I'm a man on a mission when I'm they just have three items, as far as I know. Fried potatoes, nem nung, which is kind of fermented pork that's put on a stick and grilled, and nem rang. This one is a fried little minced pork cake. We're gonna get that, they're gonna mix it with papaya. Who knows what else they're gonna put on there? Let's find out. Everybody watch out. Have you ever seen such a gigantic platter of food for such an affordable price? 50,000. We went a little bit over what we talked about in the title. I'm sorry. We're just trying to make a fun food video here with a snappy, gimmicky title. We've got the grilled pork, fried pork, Vietnamese fried potatoes. Here, I believe they have some sort of a chili sauce. I'm gonna see what that's like. Oh, that's absolutely a french fry with chili sauce. Very good. I think normally you would come here with all your friends and that's what all these people, they come with all their friends. I've tried something new where I just come alone and eat by myself. Pork made in the danger room upstairs. Here we go. Mmm, super delicious. Chewy, juicy, porky goodness. I love it. Anytime you're in Vietnam eating, when they have some kind of heavy fried foods like this, they're gonna have something a little bit more light on this side. Right now it's mango with chili salt. Let's try that out. Not too sweet, because it's like not quite ripe. It's a bit green. I think that's the whole idea. It's just chewy, a little bit sweet. The most special thing, fried pork cakes made from a minced pork batter, essentially, and fried. Let's try it out. Mmm, juicy, beautifully seasoned, savory, and a little bit sweet. I love that texture. If you have friends, and for sure I have friends, I absolutely do on Facebook, over a few, many dozens, but also you could go with your friends to a place like this and have a lot of fun. We have come to our final destination right behind me, a place that's been here for 24 years. It's actually a fan store, and then at some point, they were like, why do we not have a restaurant in front selling fried sticky rice? You give me love now unconditional. She's putting some oil on it right now. The rice patty fries for about two or three minutes. It is getting super crispy, and then we've got our plate on the outside. She's got the scissors out. We're cutting it into manageable bite-sized pieces, and I get to choose my own meat. And I have Chinese sausage. Big mounds of Chinese sausage. Soy sauce soaked Vietnamese pork sausage. And then we got an egg also soaked in soy sauce. A little pate on the top too. And I think I'm gonna call it good. That is a lot of random protein on top of there. And then she's putting on some soy based sauce here. This is some kind of Vietnamese stoner food. Wonderful. <laughs> What I'm told is this restaurant is basically the drinking spot after you've been out all night, and I can see why. It's basically like the Vietnamese Waffle House. Like, if you went to a Perkins or a Waffle House at 2 or 3 a.m., the type of riffraff you would see there, trying to, like, soak up all the booze and regret that they've had for that whole night, that's what this place is. Very lovely fried sticky rice right here. That's like Waffle House pancakes. Oh, crunchy, savory. Mix that with our pork sausage. Mm. It's so rich. I'm gonna try some of the meat together. Here I got a bunch of this red Chinese sausage here. Mm -hmm. The rice cake itself has soaked up all this delicious soy sauce. So it's super salty. It's a bit gushy. Pate, Chinese sausage, some egg. I mean, if that is not the most perfect bite you have ever seen. Oh, it's so much. Hold on. This is one of those street food places I would look at and be like, there's no way. I mean, come on. But it's a bunch of brown stuff. What's going on? That can't be that good. Now, I'm ready to drink. We don't want to grow up. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this show. I mean, next time you're in Hanoi, this has got to be one of the best places to just walk around, take in the city. The food is super straightforward, made fresh, and just absolutely delicious and affordable. All you basically need is $5 to eat all day. True, 
Also for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Peace. Cause we don't wanna grow up.